Hiroshi Hayashi will present you a video forum on ancient mysteries and wonders of the world. Today's story is about Jomon Jidai or Jomon period of Japan. Wikipedia writes about Jomon Jidai or Jomon period as follows. The Jomon period is a time in prehistoric Japan from about 12,000 BC and in some cases cited as early as 14,500 BC to about 300 BC when Japan was inhabited by a hunter-gatherer culture which reached a considerable degree of sedentism and cultural complexity. The name of Jomon or Code marked was first applied by the American scholar Edward S. Morse, who discovered shards of pottery in 1877 and subsequently translated it into Japanese as Jomon. The pottery style characteristic of the first phases of Jomon culture was decorated by impressing cores into the surface of wet clay. This pottery, dated to around 16,000 years ago, or 14,000 BC, is perhaps the oldest in the world. The period was rich in tools and jewelry made from bone, stone, shell, and entra, pottery figurines and vessels, and lacquered wood. The Jomon culture is often compared to pre-Columbian cultures of Pacific Northwest North America because in both regions, cultural complexity developed within a primarily hunting-gathering context. Here in this video, I, Hiroshi Hayashi, show you that Jomon period is not only the period for the Japanese, but also the period when her gods of the world stayed here before they started human civilizations throughout the world. Please enjoy this video with music composed and played by Ipiki Okami or Stephen Sages, Belgium. Thank you very much. Better educate people to the highest possible level of our ability in order to have it. Here's the thing you shouldn't do. Shouldn't destroy the planet. Shouldn't create massive economic disparity. Shouldn't ignore the needs of the people. The resource-based economy operates on the basis of available resources and makes those resources available to every human being on Earth, free of charge, without a price tag. Hey, what? by the potentials we have no knowledge of. Space is full of these energies and life. 
that we are trying to now find by artificial means. The human body is an incredible instrument, and its, its, its value has been largely destroyed by the fact that the owner of the body is unwilling to treat it properly. So nation after nation rises and goes down because it does not keep the rules. And this will continue until man, in one way or another, becomes aware of these rules. Now, the speculation about the Atlantic story, to my mind, should not be where was it and what was it, primarily. The, the main question is to find out what the story means and how it, what it means to us today to make this idea practical. We learn from this story, for instance, that a great civilization can perish. We learn that great empires can fall. But what we haven't learned, really, is that these disasters are caused largely by the corruptions of the human being. I think if you pledge allegiance to the Earth and everyone on it, that'd be the way to go for the future. Twenty two fifty five. Twenty two fifty five.